In this video, I want to talk to you about this old coastal Spanish town. Ah, of course not. I would like to talk to you about this old Russian vintage lens, which is Helios 44-2 58mm f2 lens and why you should be using one right now. Vintage lenses have got that special dreamlike quality, which is so different than any current modern lens. And considering how cheap they are, they are a great stepping stone to up your photography game and start getting more creative with photography and video. This lens is, however, different. This is the most famous of all vintage lenses, the Helios 44-2. And not only because it's famous, swirly like bokeh, but also because it's the most produced lens ever. This, uh, the Helios 44-2, is the Soviet Russian copy of the Carl Zeiss Biotar lens. And uh, the Russians produced it, they copied it from 1950s until 1992 and that's why there is millions of them around. Uh, the rumor is that the famous Swelly Bokov Helios lens is a result of the manufacturing problem defect but I can't find any proof of that and I can't really compare it to the original Carl Zeiss lens because I don't have one. This one, my lens, is actually from 1972 and I use it regularly, even on commercial work sometimes. It's much different than my other prime modern lenses in a way that you have to work for it. You have to work for that shot, for that picture or a video shot. You have to think about it more. You have to uh, put some effort into framing, uh, adjusting the camera and focusing obviously because it's all manual on this lens. But when you do get the right result, the right picture, the right shot, the results are very much more rewarding and they're the sense of achievement is absolutely great and for me personally I don't get it from any other lens but this. What's great for, about this, uh, especially for making videos with it, it's got two aperture rings. So first one basically inside the lens, you can actually see it, here you go. That's your, that's your main aperture ring but there's another one which clicks and this is a lock for aperture. In this, on this ring you can actually lock where the aperture is actually going to close to. So, for example, um, uh, I want to change aperture, but I don't, I don't want to go past f4. I just turn the top ring to f4, and now, and now the lens won't close past f4. So, I keep it usually locked to f2, and the aperture ring doesn't move at all, and I can shoot wide. Now, for, for video, to shoot this with this and have that beautiful blurred bokeh, I use variable and filter with adapter to go from whatever that is, I don't even know, from 58 to 49, which is this lens. A variable filter is basically a filter which darkens the picture. So that goes on the end of my vintage lens, just like that. And now without changing the aperture to darken the picture, I can control how bright the footage is. And I use this all the time in the daytime, it helps a lot. I highly recommend this lens to anyone who's interested enough in photography to step up their game and try something completely really different. For anyone who wants to be more creative and in more control of the pictures or videos. And this gives you that beautiful swirly bokeh, the beautiful dreamlike photos, great cinematic looking video, all for the price of 25, 30 pounds on eBay. I really think that any serious photographer should have one of those in their kit bag. So this is it from me from this beautiful Spanish seaside town. Don't forget to like, share, comment and of course subscribe if you're kind enough. I really much appreciate it if you do. So see you next time. We are rolling. In this video I wanted to... I talk a lot. So I'm gonna shoot the, the intro again because it's shit. There's a wasp flying around my camera. Thanks for watching this lens. Uh, <laughs> lens. This lens, the Helios, the Helios, 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 to get more creative with pictures of shots and we got a dork barking again. 
Recording outside. Perfect, isn't it? Dog.